Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a bootable USB drive for your Ubuntu operating system on your Windows 11 operating system. So let's get started and let's see how we can do it. So for this, you will need two things. First is the ISO file for your Ubuntu operating system. And the second thing is the tool which we will use to convert our ISO file into the bootable USB drive. So first of all, let's start with the ISO file download for the Ubuntu operating system. For that, you just need to open your favorite browser and search for Ubuntu. And the first link which will appear here will be from ubuntu.com. So we are going to click on this link. Here you need to select the products. So click on products here and then click on Ubuntu desktop and then you can see this option which says download ubuntu desktop and then you can see this option so at the time of making this video ubuntu 24.04 lts is the latest version and here i can see the download button which is around 6 gb in size so i'm going to just click on this uh, file and once i click on the download button I can see that this ISO file is being downloaded. So it will take some time to download. So once the Ubuntu ISO file is downloaded, it's going to look something like this. And it has the file name Ubuntu 24.04 desktop hyphen amd64.iso. And as you can see, it's around 6 GB file. Now we are going to download a tool which will enable us to create the bootable USB file. So for that, you just need to search for Rufus on your favorite browser. And the first link which will appear here will be from rufus.ie. So I'm going to click on this link here. And first of all, I'm going to click on consent here. And here on the top right corner, you can select the language, right? So I'm going to select the language for this website, which is English in my case. And then when you scroll down here, you will be able to see uh, the interface and uh, what Rufus can do for you. It's all written here. And when you scroll a little bit more down, you can see this download section. So here you have few options, right? So you have this Rufus 4.4 exe file, which is the latest version at the time of making this video. So for now, I'm going to select this option, which says Rufus 4.4.exe file, which is going to start the download of this Rufus exe file. Now this executable file, you can directly uh, run. So it's going to start the Rufus application directly. You don't need to install it. So I'm going to just click on this uh, exe file and then click on remove protection and open here, which is going to uh, give you this kind of warning. I'm going to click on yes here, and then it directly starts the application. So this is how you can install Rufus on your Windows operating system. Now for creating a bootable USB drive, you need to plug in your USB drive. Make sure you are using the empty USB drive so that your data is not lost because we are going to format the USB drive and then overwrite it with our Ubuntu operating system. So let me plug in my USB drive into my Windows 11 operating system. So I can see this USB drive, its name is empty USB and it has around 8 GB of space, which will be enough for our Ubuntu operating system. So once you have plugged in your USB drive, you can click on this drop down menu and you will be able to see your USB drive listed in this drop down menu. Make sure that your USB drive size and your actual USB drive which you have selected is same, right? So I'm pretty much sure that this is the USB drive I have plugged in because I can see here in my file system, the name of the USB drive is empty USB and it has the drive letter F, right? So you need to verify this once so that you don't do any mistakes here, okay? So verify the name of the USB and also verify the size of the USB so that 
you don't accidentally delete any other drives data. Once you are sure, then in the boot selection, select the disk or ISO image and then click on this select button and then navigate to the location where you have downloaded the Ubuntu ISO file. So I will uh, just select my ISO file location and then click on open here. So here your ISO file name is selected and the partition scheme here, you have two options. I'm going to select the first option, which is MBR and the target system is BIOS or UEFI. Also, you have some advanced drive property options. So when you uh, click on the show advanced drive property options, you have these uh, selections you can do. So list USB hard drive, add fixes for old BIOS. So I'm going to leave everything as default, which is everything is unchecked in my case. And then in format options, the volume label will be the name of my ISO file, which is Ubuntu 24.04 LTS AMD64, which is good for me. If you want to change this label, you can also change this label. The file system will be FAT32, which is also the default and the cluster size is also default. So I'm going to leave this also as default. You also have this uh, show advanced format option here and I'm going to choose quick format and then create extended label and icon files. And then once you have all these uh, settings, you can click on the start button. So make sure your selections also look similar to these selections and then click on start. And at this point, you will see few warnings. So here it says, please select the mode that you want to use to write the image. I'm going to choose the first option, which is write in ISO image mode, which is also recommended and then click on OK. Then you have this download required option. So I'm going to click on yes here. And then I have this warning. So it says all data on your device, which is empty USB, which is my USB drive, which I have plugged in will be destroyed. So if you have any data in this USB drive, you need to take a backup of that. Otherwise, all data will be destroyed. So this warning is given here. If you have any data, just take a backup and then click on OK. And this is going to quickly format your USB drive. And then it's going to start the process of creation of your Ubuntu bootable. So at this point, you just need to wait for this progress bar to reach to the 100% mark. So now you can see this process is finished and it says ready. So our bootable USB drive for Ubuntu 24.04 is ready to be used. And when I go to my file explorer, I can see this Ubuntu 24.0 is created. And when I click inside this uh, USB drive, I can see all the boot related files inside this USB drive. So when you use this uh, USB drive and plug into any hardware, you will be able to install Ubuntu operating system using this bootable USB drive for the Ubuntu operating system. So this is how you can create the bootable USB drive for your Ubuntu operating system. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.